Hey everyone, this is Neha and you are watching my channel English with Neha. In today's video, I have covered class 10th CPSC Board's first poem, Dust of Snow, written by Robert Frost. Before listening the video, press the like button and subscribe my channel and watch the video till the end for the content. Let me recite the poem first. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rued. Let's talk about the poet first. Robert Lee Frost. He was a popular American poet. He was praised for his vivid descriptions of rural life in New England. And what is the theme of the poem? The poem ponders on the theme that sometimes even a small incident may prove to be of a larger significance. The poet is upset in the beginning of the poem, but a small incident of the falling of snow on him changes his mood completely. In the end of the poem, the poet feels relaxed and thankful to the nature for saving his day from being wasted. Introduction of the poem the poem Dust of Snow by Robert Frost is a simple and short poem yet with a deeper and larger meaning. The poet explains how simple actions in life can make all the difference in other lives. The message of the poem is put into words by Robert Frost, always, always a larger significance. A little thing touches a larger thing. Small is powerful and wholesome as it brings happiness and joy. Let's start with the explanation of the stanza 1. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. The poem is set in a scene where the poet is in bad mood. He is walking by a tree, a hemlock tree. Hemlock tree is a poisonous tree. As he passes by, a crow shakes off the powdery snow from the hemlock tree onto the poet. Whether the snow falls on his head or shoulders, it is unknown as there is no specific mention in the poem. Here, the two agents of nature, the hemlock tree and the crow, are signifiers of sadness and gloom, just like the poet's mood as it was in the opening scene. Has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rued. Saved some part means Prevent some time from being wasted and rude stands for regret bitterly. For unknown reasons, the poet had a terrible day, but the falling of the snow on him lifted his mood instantly. Instantly means all of a sudden, quickly. He had already spent his day in a bad mood, but rest of it was saved by the crow and the hemlock tree. Generally, these two things are considered inauspicious, but the poet used them beautifully to portray that these can bring joy and happiness too. So the crux of the poem is, in this poem, the poet suggests that in the same way as the crow shakes off the powdery snow, one can shake off sadness and gloom from one's heart. The poet appreciates the white beauty and saved many precious moments from being wasted away in regret. Literary devices in the poem Dust of Snow Number 1 Rhyme Scheme A, B, A, B in both the stanzas. Number 2 Alliteration Alliteration in the lines has given my heart and second is and saved some part. Number third, assonance. What is assonance? The prominence of a vowel sound throughout a line is called assonance. In stanza 1, line 2, shook down on me. O sound is prominent, which shows assonance. Next is enjambment. When the same sentence continues to the next line without the use of any punctuation marks, it is called enjambment. It has been used throughout the poem. If you think the content on this video is informative and useful, then press the like button, write a comment 
and subscribe my channel by clicking on the red button or press the bell icon. In this way, you can motivate me to make more videos. Thank you.